is called the Miss Francois Show. I don't want anyone to get it confused. The Miss is MSS Francois Show. And it launches on September 7th. And it's going to be in a it's going to be basically a community in the Bronx. That's basically where it's going to be on that particular network. Beside that, I'm going to have it on YouTube. I'm going to have it on Facebook. Basically, I even have it with um, GT Network. That's in Trinidad. They have different networks. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, therefore, so far, it, it's getting out there. And the basis of... GT is all over the Caribbean as well. Exactly. GT is all over the Caribbean Awesome. Well. So, yeah. see, so I'm on the right show. I'm in the Caribbean. I'm in Trinidad. So, they're definitely going to be seeing yeah. it in different places. So, even though it's now starting, it's even getting up to a great start before it actually started so september 7th what my show is about it's basically a half an hour talk show but it's comedy with talk and what it is all about relationship i myself has been in a, in a lot of relationship and up to now i don't have a husband no man uh, still single i'm not a statistic as people like to say yes, but <laughs> and it's this cute right it's amazing I'm single. So in case you're single out there, feel free. <laughs> so the whole point of my show is a lot of times when women are in relationship and they come out of a bad relationship, regardless if it's about trust issues or cheating or whatever the situation or relationship issues that they have, they always come out, you know, they're sad, they're depressed. Exactly. So what my show is, it takes a kind of turn. We kind of try to laugh at ourselves make it more funny so the first few minutes of the show i'm gonna have like a comedic skit yeah. it could be about anything sometimes i have comedians on sometimes i'm gonna do a skit or a skit or a speech or whatever having to do with relationship like recently i did one that said i need a man so it's something funny you know you don't want to be sad and the rest <laughs> different issues they think they're by themselves and a lot of us are going through the same thing so recently I recorded a show let's talk exes so I even told them I didn't want them coming on thinking oh we're gonna reminisce and be all depressed it, you know we had someone talking about how her man was a mama's boy and it's more you know it's funny so at the same time this one had trust issues calling her mom trying to find out where she was so it's different things I even have a certain segment where they're going to be talking about, we, say we watched the movie Girl Strip, which was hilarious. Yeah. So we could discuss the Girl Strip and have different issues and have the comedic side. But at the same time, that show or oh, that movie had real issues, what women try to yeah, face. Lots of so. Right. And we are coming up. My next taping is also going to be about, I'm looking for a good man. I'm going to have someone there that believe in celibacy, saving themselves till they get married. And then I have the other person she's she's about what 60 and as far as she's concerned she just wants someone to sleep with she don't you know everybody have different issues on how they see things you know exactly <laughs> and you always get the different side of things you know? exactly and i'm going to be honest basically i'm going to be very biased we all about women yes men is out there and i'm sure men have their issues let someone else have a show about that i'm concerned about us But it, it's really awesome, and I just want, like, it's going to have so many different segments. I have something like Dissecting a Man, or even another show like Dissecting a Woman, because sometimes everybody thinks they know what a man wants or what a woman wants. But again, when all of us come together and we start to discuss it, you're going to find out so many different things. But at the same time, at the end of the day, we all have so much of these things in common. You know, and people don't realize that someone thinking, oh, my man is cheating. They think the worst thing, because I recently even got out of a relationship. And goodness gracious, if you hear stories, soon or later, I'm going to definitely do my own story on the show. Because, and I'm hoping the show brings me a man. I'm thinking about myself as well, okay? Because I'm tired. I need to get pregnant and married. So if you know anyone, please feel free to check the Miss France for show. Yeah, yeah, it's double standards. I can't be thinking about everybody else. I got to think about myself. So I just want to make sure everyone, you can check me out on YouTube. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I might be saying some stuff about them, but at the same time, we, I, I, people like to say, oh, I don't need a man. I always say, I need a man. I'm not going to pretend or whatever. They do, they add to us. I won't say complete us, but they add to us. I mean, we had Adam and Eve. So I'm all for Adam and Eve. Okay, if they, he took he took a rib to make me, so I need to be next to him at all times. So what I get cold in the night too. I need to be warm. I I second that. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Because what I think we'll talking about is what women and men are doing to each other. Exactly. Exactly. It's very hard to find a good man. That that's the issue, and that's other thing. Like the, the, a good man means different things to different people, you know. But uh, again, I might want someone who, uh, with a, a master's degree. Someone wants someone in some other thing. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay, so people think a good man is different to different people, you know. It's in that room. Yeah, different thing.